Good morning guys, welcome to my last video in this room. That is so crazy, oh my god. Today we are doing my move out process. This is probably gonna take a couple of days. By that I mean the rest of today and like the first half of tomorrow because my mom and I are leaving to drive down to DC tomorrow afternoon at like four o'clock. If you guys have seen any of my other moving vlogs, I've moved in and moved out to a couple different apartments during college. You know that um, I don't do anything if it's not at the very last possible second. <laughs> especially when it comes to big life changes like moving out of my childhood home. And this will be an even bigger moving process because when you go to college, I feel like you're not really moving out, you're just moving like some of your stuff. This time I'm like fully moving out into like a big girl apartment. So I'm gonna be taking a lot more things like furniture and stuff like that. <laughs> so um, it's noon right now on Wednesday, January 17th, 2024. I have been like cleaning and prepping my room and going through all the things that I wanna get rid of. If you guys wanna go see that like decluttering process, I did a whole video on cleaning and decluttering my room for the new year, so I'll link that in the cards. You guys can go watch that and then come back for kind of like the official start of the moving process. This is gonna be a big undertaking and I literally have no idea where to start. So I figured starting the vlog would be an easy way to kind of like basically just talk out loud to myself and organize my thoughts out loud, but it'll be like I'm talking to you guys, so it's fine. If you guys are new here, if you haven't seen my announcement video, I did a little drive with me and life update where I announced that I am moving to Washington DC for my first big girl apartment and my first like the launch into my big girl life. I'll link that video in the cards. It'll tell you a little bit more about why I'm going, my process, all of that good stuff. My dad and I have already gone and toured apartments in person. So I did a whole like apartment touring video. I think I've already posted that. I'm not sure. I'm filming this in a really, really weird order because I basically have to get it all done today. Anyway, this video is going to be packing up my entire room and moving out of my childhood home, my childhood bedroom. I have lots of stuff in my room, but I'm not bringing all of it, like my dressers and desks and stuff I'm not bringing because <laughs> my mom and I are road tripping down to DC. We're going to drive because I have all my things and we decided not to rent a trailer. So we've only got my car, like whatever cargo space I have in my car and then whatever we can ship. So, you know, I'm, I'm classic. I am known for saying I don't have that much stuff and then I do have that much stuff actually, but um, we're just gonna start packing up and see how it goes. This is probably, you know, the cleanest that my room is gonna look ever again because um, we're about to be doing the whirlwind packing job. So um, without any further ado, I guess let's just get started. I think I'm gonna start with my clothes first because that's the way I normally do it. That's the easiest to kind of wrap my brain around. I'm gonna pull out like my summer clothes and the clothes that I'm not wearing as much. I'm gonna put them in vacuum bags and pack them into boxes so I can ship those down to my apartment because I don't need to be taking up car space with clothes that I'm not gonna be wearing for another six months, you know? So I think that's gonna be a good place to start. I cleaned out my closet yesterday in that decluttering video again if you guys haven't seen that already i would encourage you to go watch it so i have cleaned out my closet so everything in here i wear on a somewhat regular basis um i'm definitely not taking everything in here but i'm gonna be taking most of it so i guess we might as well just get started <laughs> it isn't hard to tell what you were thinking babe your thoughts are only getting louder while you are up in space i sit here by myself No 
so much later. I look like a wreck right now. It is 11.37 p.m. We have made so much progress since I started this vlog. Most of all is that my ladder shelf is no longer assembled. This wall looks so much bigger without it there. I'm like starting to think that I should have had something else on that wall because this is a big wall, but when the ladder shelf was on it, it didn't feel that way. Anyway, ladder shelf is currently chilling. You're on my big tripod, so excuse the clunky filming style, but that's my ladder shelf currently disassembled. And then we've got like all the clothes that I'm packing in vacuum bags chilling on the floor. I think we're doing pretty well. I'm probably gonna be up pretty late tonight and then up again early tomorrow, but it's my own damn fault. <laughs> I am though, I am feeling so good right now. I just had a major win. It's actually a very minor win. These are the moments, like moving, these are the moments where I feel so grateful that I have a vlog because I just had to go back to my college move out vlog to figure out what I did with my old shower curtain. So I'm literally sat here in my room at 11.30 p.m. watching my own video, <laughs> like my own old video to figure out what I did with something. But I found, like in the video, I showed myself packing it in a specific box. So I went to like my basement where I've been keeping all my boxes, found it right where I left it. So we're definitely feeling good about that. Some other things we're feeling good about. I feel like it looks like I haven't made any progress but I do feel like I'm further along than it seems like. One thing that I am really proud of is because we're just taking my car, like I mentioned earlier, we're not doing a trailer or anything. I'm, I'm girl mathing my way into justifying an expense. Basically, if I did choose to put a trailer on my car, it would have cost like $400 just to install the hitch that you use to haul the trailer. Like that didn't even count the trailer cost. So it would have cost like $500, $600 just to get a trailer on my car to haul all my stuff down to DC. So the girl math comes in where I decided not to do that, so I basically saved $600. So then I can use any amount of money that I want, up to $600, to ship stuff, and I'll technically still be saving money. <laughs> Oh my god. Jokes, for sure. But I am shipping a bunch of stuff because my car's not that big. This is the pile of boxes that I'm going to be shipping to my apartment. These are just leftover boxes that we had from Christmas, but I think down here we've got clothes. I think I packed like four vacuum bags of clothes into here, which is amazing. In here we've got all of my fake plants and like the vases that they go in. In here we've got some electronics and decorations like my fairy lights and some extra chargers and stuff that I don't need immediately like in my carry-on bag. And then in these two top ones we've got the books that I'm going to be bringing with me. So I'm definitely shipping quite a bit of stuff, but you know, it is what it is at this point. Also, I know everyone's wondering since I mentioned mentioned the fake plants, what I'm going to be doing with my real plants. TBD, I am hoping that we have enough space in my car. So I'm just going to keep grinding basically until I can't keep my eyes open anymore. I've started on like my bed a little bit, this pile of clothes right here. Those are clothes that I'm taking in my carry-on suitcase, basically the outfits that I want to wear for the next week between going down and when the rest of my clothes get there. And then I'm gonna pack up the rest of it, put it in a vacuum bag, and then we'll be pretty much good to go. That's the little, you know, midnight day one check-in. Here's to hoping that everything fits in the car. <laughs> good morning, it's move out day. I've already accomplished so much today. I stripped off my bed, I washed both sets of my sheets so they would be nice and clean when we get to DC. I washed all my towels. I'm bringing those down with me also. I've got one that like didn't dry so I'm, I threw it in the dryer. It's drying up but packed my comforter and as much as some of my pillows as I could. I'm also gonna throw my towels and stuff in there. That's a vacuum bag so I'll be able to just like vacuum it down. It'll be way smaller. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna put all of my leftover sweaters and sweatshirts and stuff in there. And then the only thing left to do after that is to actually start packing my car which is definitely gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be a little Tetris puzzle because my car is not that big and I do have a lot of things, <laughs> but it'll be fine. I think it'll, it'll be fine. I mean, it has to be fine. So I already went to the UPS store this morning. I've been very productive. It's 1045 right now. I woke up at seven, no, 645 this morning, did my laundry, filmed an entire drive with me video. That's the life update that I shared with you guys. I think it was my last video. I don't remember. I'm filming them all out of order. Like the order that I'm filming them is not even remotely close to the order that I'm posting them in. So bear with me. But I went over to the UPS store. I shipped off all of the five boxes that were in the um, 
in the hallway and I went to the bank and picked up my cashier's check which is so exciting so we'll be all ready for move in I've never gotten a cashier's check it was quite an ordeal I also stopped at Dunkin and I got a little mango pineapple refresher as a little treat and we're basically just gonna motivate to finish up packing this entire room whatever I need in my bathroom and then I've got a couple of like kitchen stuff like mugs and bowls and things that I'll be bringing with me Those are downstairs. We're gonna pack those up as well. So happy day two of the move out I'm not nervous at all at all. I can do this. Let's get started Date. I am feeling so good. We've got almost all of my stuff packed at least like somewhere in the place it's supposed to be I'd say we've got like 75% of my stuff packed away now all we need to do is put it in the car so I'm gonna go grab I've got a furniture pad also this is the most obnoxious thing I've ever done I'm just holding my big tripod because I can't be bothered to take my camera off it anyway I'm gonna go get the furniture pad to put over my mirror and then start loading things into the car the mirror needs to be the first thing going into the car because there's only one place that it can go so we kind of need to put the mirror in first and then put everything else in around it it. The mirror needs to go like right down the center of the car. It's gonna fit but it's gonna be tight This is one of the reasons I wanted to get an SUV is the, the entire car is connected So like the trunk connects to the back seat connects to the front seat So everything is just one big space So the mirror is gonna have to go in on its side like going down the length of the car <laughs> You'll see when I put it in there But I think a little bit of it is going to have to be like balancing on the center console um, So hopefully it's not obnoxious, but it may be you know, these are the sacrifices we make to have an aesthetic mirror. Anyway, I'm going to go experiment with putting the mirror in the car, see if it fits, see if it's obnoxious, and then we'll build everything else around it. Big shout out to Hefty for their jumbo vacuum bags. Y'all saw the footage of me shrinking down the vacuum bags. Oh, I could watch that on loop for an hour. It was so satisfying, especially the one that had all my like blankets and towels and pillows and stuff in there. I'm gonna put it back in here right now just so we can watch it again. So satisfying. It just shrunk like literally to maybe a quarter of its size. Like that's so impressive. So we're gonna try and fit those in the trunk. I've got, you guys just saw, I packed my big suitcase. You can kind of see it out in the hallway right there. And then I also packed my carry-on suitcase. I'm also gonna be packing this backpack right here is technically it's a camera bag or it can be a camera bag. So that's where I'm gonna be putting all of my camera equipment, my tripods, my actual camera, my lenses, all that kind of stuff. And then depending on space, 
will go from there. My mom is also gonna have a bag, but she's gonna have like a super small like backpack. Then there's like little things that I need to pack, like my candles and my desk decor and my, my like lamps and stuff. I'm a little, I'm like a little, I'm delusional in the sense that I'm like, oh, it's all gonna fit for sure. Like I keep piling things on and being like, it'll fit in the car, I'll just put it in the car, I'll just put it in the car. So I'm getting a little, little concerned about the storage capacity of my car, but I'm also like, you know what? I love my car. It's gonna fit. It's 11.57 right now. We are making excellent time. My mom and I are trying to leave here by four o'clock this afternoon. So we have officially four hours until we pull out of my driveway and leave. And I feel good about that time frame. That's enough talking. I'm gonna go probably sprain my back trying to load all of this stuff into my car and I will update you guys if I end up needing to ship anything else. So, cheers to getting it done. You're far away and yet so close. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, you're up in space. You're inside the noise. I can feel you. Mm -hmm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, just so it's not like pressure on it and warp it in a weird way. So I'm putting it flat for now. It could also stay flat and we could just put soft things on top of it. We've got options. I feel good. All right, I'm gonna go get the rest of my stuff. Everything in the car, it's a small miracle. It actually holds. Vacuum, Vacuum bags do roll. I'm so impressed. I hope the trunk closes. All right, so we've got everything in there, including the plants. So off we go. All right, you guys, it's time. We did a big time jump because we just were packing up everything in the car, but we are heading out. We're only an hour behind schedule. It's 5.01 right now, so I feel pretty good. This is it. We are heading out. My room looks so bare. In a lot of ways it looks the same because like all the furniture stayed in one place, but I almost forgot my vest. In a lot of other ways it looks really different. So I'm gonna give you guys one last look around this room before we head down to DC. Here she is. Very, very empty, very empty. Like my bed is still in the same spot. I'm leaving some behind most of, some of my pillows. Left my pictures up and everything. Some stuff is staying, but this is it. She looks so different. Closet's all drained. And that's gonna be it for the move out vlog. We were officially moved out. All we have to do is actually start driving. <laughs> I am definitely a little bit sad, but I'm so excited for what's coming next. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the upcoming moving content. But that is it for this one and that is it for the main era of my life for now, of course. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in DC. Bye guys.
DC. Love you, Shaw.